So here's the new uh, DecoWave adapter board. This one's partially finished, soldered together. I put all the level shifters in there, which are dual um, buffered um, Schmidt triggers and a 3.3 volt regulator and a mini USB socket to take in the power and a power LED. Before I actually complete the rest of it, putting on the expensive DecoWave part all, I'm going to power it up using this little battery adapter here, USB to 5 volts. So I'll plug that in here. And then uh, press the button, and there we go. Power set, little blue LED comes on. So the next step is to finish the assembly and make sure everything else works. And there's the board with the um, DecaWave chip or module soldered in place. Only this one pin on this side needs to be soldered for the ground, and the rest are unused. So. In case I need to try to unsolder it, I'm going to solder as few connections as possible. Still don't know whether the layout of the board is correct. There's always a possibility that I've blown it. So you got to plan ahead. And here's the board with the uh, headers installed for the Arduino Pro Mini or Mini Pro, whatever it's called. And this is the second to last step. Next thing is to plug in the Arduino and uh, load up the code. And here's a quick side-by-side -side between the new version here and the original version I came up with that used the breakout board like this and put the Arduino Mini underneath. The, the problem with this was it was um, really hard to get these headers under to be small enough. I had to use a really low-profile socket and very low-profile machine pin header, and those are hard to get. So this whole thing was kind of a pain to acquire the parts for and build. But it worked as a first test. But I think, uh, assuming everything checks out with this, this is the this is the real cat's meow here. I could probably just solder this directly above the board with the headers once, you know, if I'm satisfied that it's okay. It'd be an even lower profile the thing that it is. As it stands, it just needs enough clearance to avoid the mini USB jack right there. Well, some of you may spotted the fact that I missed that resistor right there, the IRQ pull down resistor, so I'm going to have to add that now. I totally missed that. And it works! So here's my newly completed anchor, which is running off this portable power supply. And there's the uh, tag. And as I'm going to move this back and forth, kind of like this, watch the, uh, the range increase. Going away, now coming back. Getting very close, then going away again. So, hooray! One thing I will say is you need to be very careful about how you solder those to those castellations on the edge. Almost all of my problems in bringing one of these up the first time has been a bad solder joint on one of those things. I really, I use the soldering iron to make the connection, but perhaps heat gun and solder paste might be a better solution. I gotta investigate that.